Thanks for joining me today. I recently had, oh, this is Sandy Egan with Keller Williams Realty. And I recently had the pleasure of speaking with Sylvia Anderson with the Everett Gospel Mission. She is the CEO and has been there for about 20 years. Um, we had some technical difficulties with our conversation. So just seconds into what was over a half an hour treat, um, the audio stopped recording. And so what I've done is I've taken my notes that I took and put them into a couple of different ideas that uh, we talked about. And I'm going to share those with you anyway, because they are just too wonderful to say for myself. And so um, the first thing that I'd like to, to share with, with you is her background. Sylvia had been been there has been there for about 20 years like I said and if you had asked her um, when she first was approached by the Everett Gospel Mission if you know if she wanted to come and, and do that she'd be like uh, why where is Everett and why would I want to go there so she started working with them for a, a little while and um, after about eight months, she said she asked the board whether she could stay, and they said yes, and she's been there ever since. Sylvia is a mom of two children, one adopted, and she also had foster care kids in, and what she didn't realize is that she was training for what she was later gonna provide services for many more. And did you know that in the homeless population, that 40% of the homeless population was once in foster care? So obviously there's a strong correlation there, and like she said, she was in a training ground. The first question I asked Sylvia was because we were talking about faith. And as you may know, faith is something that that is so important to me and and so important to me to, to understand and learn more about so that we can grow what I call that faith muscle um, because the Bible is so clear that our faith makes us whole and, and our faith is what gets us where we're going to, to go. Um, and so I said, you know, how do you share faith with a group of people who may not see a lot of reason for faith? Um, and I think what that did is that showed more of my lens of the world than the reality. And what she said that this is a, a the homeless population, the homeless people, um, contrary to popular understanding, a lot of their clients have very strong faith. It takes a lot of faith to be in the situation that they're in, get themselves up, pull them up through the bootstraps, um, and get on their feet every morning, she says, searching for what they don't see. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. So these people are very strong. She says, we get the privilege of coming alongside them and reassuring them that, yes, actually, you do have faith. You just don't know what it's in. You don't know where you're getting that strength from. And can we introduce you to that person who's actually providing you that strength and coming alongside with you? You just don't necessarily know his name. And what an honor to be able to come alongside people who who are in the dire situation that, um, you know, they don't have a roof over their head, or maybe they're just about to be without a roof over their head, or maybe they've started to find a solution. Anyway, that's part of my, my maybes, um, not what she went into. She says, when we realize, when we, all of us, realize that the homeless people are strong, valuable people, that helps alleviate the Jesus wand, as they call it. And uh, my notes were a little sketchy there, but I believe what she was saying is that we come in saying, thinking, well, we've got Jesus. He's the answer. And Jesus is on my side more than on their side, obviously, because my life has worked out better. And, and that is so far from the truth. And so when we realize that they are valuable people and that there's actually more, we have more in common than more apart, that's when we can put our our lenses aside and start looking at them as who they really are and who Jesus sees them. She says, I have been humbled. A lot of my faith rests in my material possessions and comfort. It's easy for me to have faith when I can look around and see all of what I have and how easy life is. And part of our mission as the ever gospel mission is to open the eyes of the community and of our partners to see that these people are valuable and help them see the connection between themselves and our clients. Again, there's more the same than is different. So her mission is really not just for the people who come through the front door saying, I need help. Her mission is also to the people who are coming alongside offering to help and they're not really sure how and they're not um, really seeing this, these people necessarily in the way that, that would be best seen. And so, and also to reach out to the community as a whole and say, how can we as a community come alongside? Because it's really what she's saying is it's really about connections. 
if you're homeless, you've lost your connections for whatever reason. Uh, you don't have the connections and the support system to rely on that um, someone who is not homeless does. And so what people are saying is that if I can't belong, because these people are feeling like I don't have my collections, connections, I don't belong. And so if I can't be part of belonging into this normie world, then I'll take any world that will take me. Someone is looking for that belonging. And so if we can come alongside and, and share that, uh, that we really truly do accept them. And she says, that's why they make it clear that this is, this is their community and we want to see them, we want to hear from them. And when we begin to give them that respect and dignity, they turn around and understand it for themselves. So that is part one of uh, a two or three parts. I think it's gonna be a three part. Um, tomorrow, I'm gonna to go ahead and talk about what happens because that's a strong message that we all have faith and uh, and let's let's show you who who it's through. But what happens if someone has gotten to a better place, goes out and then comes back again? So that's tomorrow. Thanks so much for joining me on this journey of faith. I'm excited to talk with you on it. Have an awesome day. Mm -hmm.